of the insolvency of Christopher Martin, all trades with him must be closed at once. It's all my fault here. Well, we gave it the good old Martin try anyway. You can come back. Gentlemen, I didn't come here to threaten you. But no one who hasn't lived in the farm belt can quite realize how near we came to serious trouble. It blew over because farmers happen to be funny birds. They'd rather raise crops than raise cane. Now, one more season like the last, and the storm won't blow over. It'll blow up something. Now, you don't want that, and we don't want it. Someone in the wheat pit tried to help us. He made the bravest, finest fight a man could make. And what was his reward? He was wiped out. It's too big a thing for any one man to control. Even a big guy like... Oh, I'm a big guy, all right. Government to raise farm prices. Agriculture to be aided in return for reduced acreage. Speculation may be curbed. Action seen as a result of activities of Martin Brothers. Don't you ever read the papers? I haven't even got a nickel to buy one. <laughs> oh, I'm a big shot. What are you going to do, Chris? Go back to the farm? I should say not. Kids, you're looking at a young man who left home to set the world on fire. First thing I got to do is go out and buy some more matches. Well, darling, now that you've got so much time on your hands, how about using it for that honeymoon? Okay with me, but you've got to understand it's on you. <laughs> Better take that up with me, young lady. I can't have my new partner neglecting business. Partner? And that's what your pa and your Uncle Chris have done, boys. Now, let me see. Now, we'll buy the North 80 for you, Tim, and the Dud Parker section for you, John, and the Lowlands for you, Tim, and the Hill Farm for you, John. Wonder which one of them will grow up and go to Chicago. Hmm? 